When it comes to cutting edge robotics, the names don't get much bigger than Boston Dynamics. We recently had the chance to visit the company's headquarters just outside of Boston in Waltham, Massachusetts. There, CEO Robert Plater gave us a personal demo of two of his company's most exciting robotic creations. First up, quadruped robot Spot. Spot's currently available for a variety of commercial and industrial uses. So what are you gonna show us here? Uh, so we're gonna start with basic mobility. Okay. Rob and I will talk through that. And then as I'm doing this, uh, I'll also be teaching you how to drive. You're gonna teach me how to drive yeah. Spot? Yeah, okay. it's really easy. Okay. Uh, so we'll start off with the stereo array cameras. There's two in the front, one on each side, one in the back. Uh, this allows the robot to see the world around it. So the it, robot has basically eyes all everywhere. the way around. We could demonstrate obstacle avoidance. Okay. We could. I'm the ultimate <laughs> obstacle here. <laughs> High spot. All right, so it's... Ah! <laughs> so it saw that you were there. Yeah. And it went High around spot. you. High spot. How are you? Are you coming? You coming to me? <laughs> <laughs> Then I got the chance to drive Spot myself. So these joystick controls are like video games uh, okay. and drone controls. Okay. So if you push this forward with your left thumb, that's forward. And then pull it towards you, that's backward. And then push one side, so that's sidestepping. Look at him! Yep. Or strafing. And then your other one is turning. So if you turn to the right, and then turn to the left. <laughs> and you've got it. And so you're just giving it a very high level command about where to go. It's dealing with all of the foot placement and the balance. Okay, One of the first tests we built uh, for, to really make sure the legged balance works is can it walk over a rocky obstacle where the rocks you know, pivot and turn out of the way. And it's a really hard balance problem. And so we ended up building these boxes and rocks. Wow, look at him go! Can he go backwards? Yeah, yeah. I am so impressed. So have him come up these stairs. So you can also see the stairs. And if you just basically point it up, you don't even have to perfectly center it on the stairs. It'll just go do the rest on its own. Okay. Just keep pointing forward. There you go. Look at him go. And now just have it come right back down. So yeah. you'll want to go down backwards, actually. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't like to come down forwards. You probably oh. got to line him up a little bit better. Okay. Kind of point his back end down the, okay. down the stairs. And that way he can see the stairs. So if you use your right joystick, there you go. There you go. Now it's okay to come so down? So now he's kind of looking down the stairs. Yeah, okay. now come down. Look at that. That's Great. why eyes on your butt are useful. <laughs> <laughs> it can even open doors on its own. So this, no, is, this is... This uh, is... Robot human interaction here. Yeah, so you, at its best. you're proud of Spot. I'm very <laughs> right? proud of Spot. So you're associating with it already. I am. Then we got to meet their humanoid robot, Atlas. Atlas is a research platform designed to push the limits of whole body mobility, but it's not yet available for purchase. So now that I've pressurized the robot, uh, you can watch as I tell the robot to get up. Oh, okay. The child's pose there. Oh my, the, he looks human. Okay. It was so great being able to build a robot that could get itself up off <laughs> the ground. Look at that! He's doing squats! <laughs> okay, Atlas! So Atlas has uh, about 29 actuated degrees of freedom. It's definitely wow. the most complicated robot we've built so Look far. Look at him! And all those joints are powered by hydraulic fluid that gets pumped through out the whole, the whole body. And it, but this also makes for a very lightweight, strong actuator. Wow. <laughs> this Look at that. itself before the uh, routine. Yeah. You're doing all of this. So I'm triggering trajectories. So we've got various behaviors uh, on the robot um, that like. I can uh, like. trigger. Like, for example, uh, we've got jumping trajectories. Uh, wow. We've got a jump in place. Um, and then this is like an exuberant jump. Oh, Just wow. The, Joy of being a robot. I can do that. 
<laughs> Hopefully we'll, well get. We'll see if you can keep up with Atlas throughout this thing, right? Oh, look at him go! Okay, is that jogging? Was that a little bit of a little bit of running, a little bit of jogging? We're going to do a little parkour course right now. So it's actually looking at this terrain and kind of figuring out where to place its feet. Oh wow! So we can see. Yeah, I can it see. It literally can you see. You can actually see what it can see on that screen over there. Oh wow! You see that display? Can it do a backflip? Well, how am I supposed to surprise you when you ask for everything in advance, you know? <laughs> I love that I can figure you out here. Let's warm up to that with some, uh, a little floor routine. Yeah. The bigger question is, can you still do a backflip? No. <laughs> robots are supposed to do the things that are unsafe for humans. And so now I let my, my robot do my okay. gymnastics. Okay, all right, here we go. <gasps> wow, a somersault? Can you believe it can roll that smoothly? I it doesn't look, have a spine. And he yet, has a look, great, look how smoothly it does that. He has a great back. Look at yeah, him. Yeah, yeah. That's how we're supposed to use our, our back. It also has no neck, so you don't have to worry about breaking That's your neck. That's true. <laughs> so. Oh, was that like a... Yeah, look at that. Was that what he's doing? <laughs> yeah. but, well, hey, he's got a little swagger. <laughs> so now that we're all warmed up, and can uh, show up? some more fun oh, behaviors. Oh, we're dancing now. Look at you. And we like dancing because we're like kind of showing expression, you know? And this is what I meant earlier about being, using all those joints to kind of express something. Who taught them to dance? Well, we actually have choreographers. Do you? That put together dance routines, first in software, and then we download that to the robot. Wow. All and, right. And sometimes we actually measure humans doing the dance first as sort of a starting point. Okay, let's see it. Ah, uh, yeah. Try it. Ah! Oh! <laughs> I the can't shoot. even do that. The, what else can you do? So now, now that we've warmed up the robot. He's warmed up. We're, we're, we're feeling good. We're feeling, we're feeling ourselves in this demo. The, the pumps are really active. Their service juices are flowing. And now we can do kind of okay. the crescendo. Here we go. Woo! All right! That is, Duck it. That is the, Duck it. Yeah. Yes. So this is, this is the proudest, uh, the proudest Atlas. The, the backflip has become a very reliable behavior. So this is, uh, thank you, Alex. Aww. <laughs> take your bow, That's take right. your bow, we'll, we'll take, take your bow. Standing ovation. Take your bow. <laughs> All right, Atlas. For CBS News, Michelle Miller, Waltham, Massachusetts.